And then I printed out a blank check. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how much that I wrote on my check. You guys, the amount that I wrote on that check, I got this year. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be doing vision boards for 2021. I'm so excited because I can go on and on about how I use vision boards and planners just to manifest all my desires and things that I have. So we're going to get all into that today. If you don't know what a vision board is, it's basically a visual representation of your desires, your goals, your wants, and just things you want to do in life. If you want to learn how to make a vision board, just keep watching this video. My first thing, how I start doing a vision board, you want to start on paper or using your phone just to get your ideas together. And I pretty much use a planner. If you saw in my last video, I got this planner. I got my planner from um, Barnes & Noble. The other day, I picked my sister one up too. And they're kind of the same. I'll get more into it, but the planner, for me, I kind of use it the same way I use a vision board. Like I'm a very visual person. So if I write something down that I want to do or need to do, it gets done. I don't know. It's just something about writing it down, seeing it, and just knowing what I'm about to do. And I use the vision board the same way. With the vision board, it has pictures, so it makes it more realistic and easier for people to use their imagine imagination because some people, you know, everyone doesn't visualize things as easily as others. And you can see that because, you know, some people don't realize how much our minds have to do with things that we achieve or get done. It really, really works, you guys. And I don't want to go into it like too far because I really, really can talk about this all day. I talk about this with my friends just because there's so many things that I have realized in my life that I have thought about or wrote down on paper or had a picture on my phone from my cars to where I've lived to people that I've met and it's just all visual and in my mind. So I really, really encourage you to make a vision board this year if you haven't. And I've been using them for a very long time, probably since I was about 18 years old. I have used a vision board to manifest my desires. So with my planner, I like to use something with a quote that, um, you know, is really motivating for me to look at every day. So this one says, every day your strength shows up in miraculous ways. You can use any planner pretty much. This has stickers, you know, just so you can add to it, make it fun. And ooh, these are so cute with the gold. Look at the money. And I love the palm tree for like vacation, things to look forward to. And then I love to write down things that I wanna get done in the month just so I'm ready. So like I even like to write down my ideas for videos and things like that in my planner from my appointments to um, the time I wanna go to the gym to when I wanna grocery shop, um, when I wanna go um, hang out and go to lunch with somebody, everything I put down in my planner just so I can see it. And even some things that I haven't planned yet as in like I'm not sure if I'm going to do it I'll still go ahead and write it down just so I can see it and know that I want to do it and somehow it just gets done if you just write it down so yeah that's the planner and you can honestly get any planner I just chose this one because it has really motivational quotes on each page or for each month so um, yeah and then my sister's hers kind of has hers is let me see. Pretty much the same, and then except hers did not come with stickers, so we just grabbed a book of stickers to where you know you can make it like fun and interesting. Because I feel if I use like you know like stickers and stuff, it kind of works how the vision board is like bringing it to life and um, just making it so you really pay attention to what you're gonna do. Just like I said, like I really like the little palm trees, like. For vacation like that's something to look forward to 
on your planner to see if you see a palm tree or something like that you know that's vacation or whatever it is you have your palm tree to represent so what I'm going to do since I'm about to start my um, vision board this is going to be for 2021 I'm going to go ahead and look at January and I do already have like appointments lined up for January in my phone so I'm going to go ahead and write those down and then I'm gonna write down some of my goals that I need to get done and I'm gonna refer back to these um, goals that I wrote down and find representation with the pictures so I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly just to get you know going getting my vision you know and then I'm gonna come back to going into the actual vision board so when you start making your vision board, you want to go ahead and set your mood. Get you a drink or whatever helps you just relax and get ready to make your vision come true. what you want to get done for the month make sure you're being very very specific because I know especially with the beginning of the year we want to just be like I want to do this this and this like just taking on everything because it's the beginning of the year and you know you're just really motivated and trying to get a lot done in a little bit of time but from experience I know like be very specific and kind of narrow things down to what you know you can get done because when you get things done that motivates you to keep going it's like when you start in the gym you are you really want to go hard you're like oh i'm gonna go to the gym every day and i'm gonna do this this and then like you get really tired but if you take your time and set like you know i'm gonna start with two days a week then i'm gonna go to three days a week or build yourself like that it's more encouraging because you're like oh i stuck with the three days a week for a month so now i can move on just so you don't you know just take on too much and fail or just feel really discouraged when you don't get everything done at the end of the month and just know that you can roll it to the next month you guys like we have all year and more to get these things done but it is good to have a deadline so that's why i say just be very specific when you want to get certain things done so now that i wrote down some things in my planner um i like to so i could tell you one of the things I don't really like to share what's on my vision board because it's very, very personal and I really get to exact things that I want and I don't need people looking at it like, girl, like what? Are you, put you know what I mean? Just outside energy can sometimes throw off your goals. So I pretty much keep that to myself or just people that I really, really trust around, you know? So, um, but one thing I can share with you guys is cleaning out my beauty room, getting my beauty room organized as you can see in one of my videos that my beauty room right now has just kind of been out of whack because my closets were getting done and everything out from my closets were in there so i just really want to focus on that this month so i wrote that down as one of my main goals in january so now what i'll do is find a visual that matches that so i'll just kind of go you can like go on Pinterest or you can go just Google. Right now I just put in beauty room or spaces that I feel are, they look organized and together how I want my stuff to be. So this would be one of the pictures. So I just chose this one because it looks really organized and it might not be exactly how I put it together, but I know I want my stuff to be organized so this is what this picture will represent and then i'll go over to the app that we have pages and i'll select a new sheet of paper 
and so you're gonna put your pictures right on here and this is so if you have a really big picture um, you can size it down on pages right on your phone and you can also do this on your computer but I do most things right on my phone just because it's easier it's in my hand and I just I'm just used to doing most things on my phone so um, you would do the same exact thing on pages just pull up a page and Google or Pinterest the pictures that um, represent your desires so I have the blank sheet of paper and pages so I'll just click the arrow to add go to a photo go to my last see how big the picture is it would have been huge if I printed it out so there's the paper and then you just size it down to the size that you want and then you can move it and then I can also go and find more pictures of my representations to also go on the same sheet of paper. So when I print it out, it's going to have more than one so I can just cut them out. pictures are printed out I kind of did mine a little bit big you gotta remember that that little piece of paper is really representing a piece of paper so I could have went a lot smaller as you can see these I don't mind sharing with you guys because here as you see is the beauty room and this represents 10,000 subscribers even though I haven't made it to my thousand subscribers so this is a great opportunity for you who's watching to make sure you're subscribed and anyone that you know that will be interested in my videos make sure you tell them to subscribe as well this is a picture of me <laughs> believe it or not no I'm split but this is me on vacation I was in Belize right here so it kind of represents that I want to start traveling again, but it also represents that I need to start going a little bit harder in the gym again because I was in great shape. Obviously, if I'm going on vacation, you go a little bit harder in the gym, but I just like this picture because it was just a good trip and I can't wait to start traveling again and get back in shape. So that's what this picture represents. And then I printed out a blank check and you guys, I'm not going to tell you exactly how much that I wrote on my check. This was last, no, this was 2019. This was 2019 vision board. I'm still in California at my sister's, so I do not have like an old vision board to show you guys. But you guys, the amount that I wrote on that check, I got this year. This year in April. I got the amount that was on that check and I had no idea how it was gonna come I didn't I had like no plan really it was just a number that I made in my head that I felt like I knew what I would actually do with that money and which which I did do with that money what I planned or still in the process of doing what I wanted to do with that money and I don't want to share it was a large amount I will say that so I'm going to do the same thing again because when that happened, I was like, why didn't, I mean, I guess you don't want to be greedy, but I, my first thought was, why didn't I put more? Because you don't really imagine it happening, but I'm telling you that this has happened so much with me that I feel like, I just already feel like anything that I put down is just going to happen. That's how I feel. But you have to also remember that the law of attraction or using a vision board you put it somewhere that you can see it every day and you want to pay attention to it and take time to look at it you know and visualize yourself with it but at the same time you kind of want to let it go you don't want to really stress on it because when you stress on things like how is it going to happen how am i going to get this money how am i going to what am i going to do then it makes it further away so the frequency becomes like a negative frequency and it just does not work it's it sounds like really contradicting but i'm trying to explain to you how it works it's like you want to see it and you want to 
notice it but at the same time you don't want to stress over it it's kind of like you're acting as if you already have it or like it's there so boom I'm waiting or I'm taking the action to already achieve that that's basically what it does because when you see it you start taking the steps to make the things happen so I'm sorry if I sound confusing like girl spit it out but I'm trying to tell you exactly how I've known it to work and just how I hear it explained and honestly how it works with me because when you just start to forget about something it just miraculously comes or you start taking steps to make it happen because you know that's one of your goals and the universe just kind of helps it happen you know what I mean so those are some of the things I'm going to be putting so I will start that my sister's going to start hers and I will show you guys the finished results so you guys can make it nice in your house because you want to make it like cute as something to be up in your place. You don't want to just like have it slapped together because you, you don't want to put that up in your house anywhere. So you want it to look nice. I also have magazines. You can find stuff that you want to put in your vision board. But I find it more realistic to actually Google the picture or the exact thing that you're trying to manifest this year or work towards because it's the actual thing that's why i find it more um beneficial to use a picture of me as motivation in the gym rather than somebody else in their body sometimes that you know we like to get motivation from other people's bodies and stuff like that but when it's you like you know you've been there it's more just more realistic you know you can do it again do you know what I mean I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out and I'll show you guys the finished result to the last steps of the vision board my sister she pretty much completed her so I'm gonna show you the end results so I picked out these frames here's the frame it's just a white simple frame that will pretty much go with her decor and then we just took out the paper inside and then we cut the boards that we got not a board but they're pretty much papers but they were too big to go inside so just matched it up with the paper inside so we're about to put hers in right now this is how it should look i'm not going to explain it or anything like that but this is all her vision everything you know has a meaning to her 
and that's what a vision board should look so i'm just going to close out this video i hope you found it helpful to create your own vision board for 2021 comment down below if you will be creating a vision board for 2021 i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching